All right. So we have Stars Are Born, Patient Study, and Harmasis. I actually want to take Stars Are Born here because look at my position. I already have Kelp 2. I have two Rage Blades. Like, this is the perfect game for this. So uh, I'm excited. I think this is going to be possibly free low i am so tempted to buy this poppy right now oh no i can't buy this poppy right i can't buy this poppy there's no universe where that's the correct move right unless it is the correct move no there's no universe right the thing is i can't roll I really should. Maybe I should buy the poppy. Should I buy the poppy? I mean, we have legitimately. Ah, I don't know. I don't know, man. No, this can't be right. It can't be right. The problem is, though, if I don't buy the poppy. I'm literally going to be super struggle if I don't find a kale soon. <sighs> this is the problem. I need to find a kale soon. Okay. You know what? Screw it. We're just going to open. I want the poppy. Uh, it's only one gold, too. All right, we're doing it. I should have done it last turn. But it's okay. Not the biggest deal. I was really hoping I would hit a kill there, like just natty a kill. Because if you natty a kill, you're six kills in, right? That's three less kills I have to find. But I still have to find three star Poppy. I still have to find three star Maokai. It's not like I'm completely escaping you know, any of that. We really want to find a Galio. If we can find a Galio, we're in a very, very good position. Because that'll be two star Galio right off the bat. It's just extremely good. Not one of these. We're already at 27 gold too, so our income is based. Okay, actually has decent gold too. There's no point in selling anything to make 30. I could sell the poppy, but like they would anyway, it's never worth it. Just thinking out loud. Triple item Cassio, Noxus reroll. I think Kale reroll is just very underrated, but very strong. I might play this instead of second Maokai. That might have been better. That way Maokai at least gets the shielding. Wow, Cassio actually kind of... Kind of destroyed right there. We actually really want to lose this. <sighs> For second. Actually, that's not even true, is it? Because normally that would be true so we could get Rage Blade. But right now it doesn't matter because we already have two Rage Blades. There's a kill. Can you make Demacia? Is that ever worth it? You can make Demacia. I think it's health, though. Quite certain it's just health. It's like Warmogs, and then maybe... They're all going to play Samir rerolls? <laughs> and Cassio, Samira, Cassio? Like, what is this? What am I watching? <laughs> Why are there so many people forcing that comp? <laughs> Ooh, Galio. Yes. We take that. That is quite good. Pretty sure just giving her extra items is better. Then again. This is a pretty good item. I mean, just, like, blocks so much damage from Samira. Like, that's our whole point. Negative 9. 190, though. 160. Like, it's dropping, but it's dropping so slowly. 
I think this is absolutely the right call. She still has a hundred armor at the end of it, right? Maybe we should build that Rose Thorn or er, Bramble Vest. Just the pure amount of armor you get. Probably worthwhile. Anybody else contesting me at this point? Built over. Rek'Sai reroll. Noxus, Noxus, Noxus. <laughs> Noxus, Ionia. <laughs> Alright. And with the amount of gold we have, we actually have like two turns to roll with 55% odds instead of 45% odds. So that's pretty solid stuff for early game. I really like this. I think Stars Are Born is just extremely good. Extremely solid. I really, really like it. Oh, he's got Hole Crusher. Kill is not very strong, really. So even though we have the Rage Blades... Actually, probably should have swapped the items. No, oh, get your shield off! Wow, we didn't even kill Irelia. That is a combo right there. Hole Crusher plus Gargoyle Stone Plate. That is a brutal, brutal, brutal combo. We could have one more poppy right now, had we... We have not found a Kel since then, though, so like we would we would have missed out on so many. I think in this position, you just always have to buy whatever it gives you. That way you can buy the rest of the poppies and all that. Because if you don't, you just can't buy anything. I want to make sure she gets the items. Doesn't matter how tanky they are. We should get one... Well, we only get one, roll to, one turn to roll at 5, but maybe we roll down to 30. Oh, did that combine and give me one less gold? That is brutal. I should be at 62 right now. That's kind of dumb. Uh, Probably Jeweled Gauntlet for Gwyn. I'm going to roll down to 30 here. Alright, I'm decently happy with that. Oh wow. Oh, he stars are born too. Wow, Cassio is OP as hell. That was through Dragon Claw. She. Oh, wait, am I trolling? Wait, I might be trolling. Wait, am I trolling? She had Dragon Claw, right? Or no? I might be griefing. I actually don't know. Reach level 9, gain 44 gold. Oh, that's tempting. This is actually pretty decent. Random emblem and a reforger. Kind of like the reforger idea. Problem is, can I ever hit nine? Red buff. Red buff is good. I don't want to build Sunfire. I'm so tempted to put this in. I think I do. Okay, yeah, good win. Great win. Great win. Gets to 40 gold and everything. Maybe I should take in the Reforger. Oh, Shin. Shin early. Invoker. Do we need Invoker? Invoker even useful. Shin is going to be better than Diego, I'm quite certain. 
This actually might be worthwhile. Two star or three star Galio is equally viable as three star Maokai. It's just usually easier to hit the Maokai. He's three star Cassie already. That is dumb. That seems very overpowered. Maybe I should take a neck load. Oops. Uh, Sejuani with health seems great. Or Urgot with health. Four golden health is really all I care about. There's also Gwen. Gwen would be better than Shen, I think, for Slayer. But what do I do with the BF sword? Eh, doesn't matter. We take it anyways. Figure it out. BF sword with AP could be good for Gwen, the healing. It's a pretty good item on her with blue buff. Something like that. Another Gwen. Let's give Shadow Isle and Slayer. Pretty solid. I think I keep the Galios for now. He's a decent tank, but the problem is we have Poppy. Poppy is our tank, right? And he gets replaced for J4 later. So that's not worth it. Also, with everybody playing Noxus reroll, I should be able to hit, right? Hopefully. Static Shiv is so good. I guess it's not really Static Shiv though. It's Static's favor, which is way better because it does like double the damage of Static Shiv. It's convenient. And we hit Maokai now. Anybody else playing Maokai? Really? Oh, but I do need a third restore unit. Gosh, these items are very useless. I don't know if I actually like that on her. I might just give it to Kled, but Let's see. Not finding Malkos. Should buy the one cost to clear out the pool a little bit, maybe. Hopefully, we get like perfect. Actually, really great. We have red buffs, so. Okay. 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 Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna roll down for Malkai. I think that's tremendously worth. We have red buff, so that's decent. Helps us against the Soraka healing. Nice. We're in a good position now. 
This guy was pretty strong. Probably not this, we already hit everything. Pandora's items, uh, that would have been good earlier, kind of late now. Bastion units drop below 50% health, they heal, heal for 40% of their maximum health. This actually could be really good with this, just because our main tank is a Bastion. Baker deal damage, they gain two stacking armor and magic resist for the rest of combat. Gain two slayers. So, wow. Mm -hmm. I don't need armor and magic resist, that's just tanking. I'm going to do this. Morning Light's a better tank item. Uh, not going to play either one of those. But I will eventually play Zed. I really need Teemo. That's actually what we need instead of Gwen, we need to put in Teemo. So that we can get our four star poppy. It's actually a massive difference. With Timo or Heimer. Actually, I could put in Tristana. Hopefully, we win because I'd like to put in Tristana. Okay. As soon as we can hit seven, damn, this guy is out of the game. <sighs> Timo is better than Trist. This is better. Oh. And four star Poppy, right? 3,700 health, 2,800 health. But it's also giving up Gwen. She's actually not doing that much, though. We'll put Gwen in as seven. Right now we need four star poppy, I'm quite certain. Four star poppy into Cassio seems good. Yeah. Four star poppy. Three star poppy dies there. Four star poppy does not. That is the difference. Ooh, I really like the Aatrox here. And it's a tier for Gwen. Ha oh, yeah, I should have seen that coming. It's probably just AP. For Gwen. Unless we can hit an Aatrox. It really... Hmm. Definitely want to go up. Do I just send it? We have a five win streak. I'm going to send it. It's not Morello. It's never Morello. I mean, now I feel pretty strong, right? We're level 7 with everybody else. We have 4-star Poppy with 3 tank items. We have 3-star Kale with double Rage Blade. Now it's just a matter of trying to hit 9. Like, that is actually just the goal. Maybe hit 2-star Gwen. But I feel like 9... 9 is, is winning, quite certainly. Damn, I had to knock the knock the first guy out. Sorry, my dude. Ooh, Gwen. It's probably uh, Zed goes in at eight for an additional Slayer. But I would sell him right now. <sighs> Technically, if we find an Aatrox, Aatrox goes in at eight. But if we don't find Aatrox, Zed can go in, and it's fine. Not that bad. I'll be right back. <laughs>
Wow, we lost that? What the hell? How did we lose that? Two star challengers? Really? I guess we do need J4 in. Uh, I can't believe we lost that. That's insane. Um, I can't. I don't build Sunfire here. I never. That's never it. Everdon's death gap is decent, and then blue buff to finish it off, possibly. We're Forty-seven HP. We're guaranteed top six at this point, which is solid. Let's see. Oh, Cassio seems very strong, huh? I mean, she just one shots everything. Okay. Oh, that knockup was great. Wonderful knockup there. All right, our goal is to hit eight now. Ooh, Jarvan is just better. Tell the Galio. Damn, I really can't slam Sunfire because we have red buff. It just wouldn't make any sense. Really just wouldn't make any sense. The healing he's getting is very nice. I mean, the healing from Hextech Life Blade and Hextech Gun Blade. Honestly, not bad. And his redemption, too. That was some solid healing. Do I try to hit 8 here? Not if we're, if we're going to try to go 9, we can't greed. Like, 9 is a pretty decent power spike, too. I'd really like to get a tier uh, to make uh, the armor tier item. I always forget the name. What is it called? Protector's Vow. That'd be pretty solid. Oh, he has three star. He hit. And he has Zephyr. Dude, who plays Zephyr? What is this shit? Okay, we killed him. And we... Wow, we won with Zephyr. That's... Wow. That's nutty. I'm actually shocked. I don't think we should have won that. We got Zephyr. <laughs> we probably should have lost. Oh, dude, I hate Zephyr. Remove this item from the game. Please, someone. There's just no reason for it to be in the game, in my mind. I like this. It's not the greatest item after the nerfs, because everybody was abusing triple Zeeks and triple uh, ice cream cone, whatever that item's called, but... It's still decent, and it'll help Kale out a lot. It'll help her get her Rage Blade up and running faster, which is really all we care about. Oh, I have Zephyr. I don't know if I should put her in the middle, though. We will see. Oh, we hit the Samira. I mean, it's pretty decent considering Samira had all the items. Oh, uh, Yasuo's gonna hit Kale, though. Oh, no. Maybe not. No! Oh, Kale died. It's doomed. I need a corner kill.
Wow, triple swing. Wait, what? They're on the same spot. Torch layer. Okay. I should probably try to hit Gwen, J4, Zed, Teemo. All these are one one star right now. But if I do that, I never hit nine. Let's see. I think we can hit nine. If we win this, it would be big. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Oh, knocked out another guy. And top four guaranteed, just like that. Feels good, man. I'm not going to roll. Let's just see if we can hit it. I think we can. And I think nine is worth it. Actually, who do we put in at nine? I mean, it should be Aatrox, but like, it's not about that. It's about the Kel passive. The Kel passive is, is all we're trying to do get right now. Top three, actually. Wow, very nice. Great stuff. That's helpful. All right, we're going to hit nine. Blue buff would have been ideal here. Um, Double death cap, maybe? Shroud is actually pretty decent. And it. Oh, got it. I don't know. Maybe Bruiser is better, but I saw Multicaster and I was like, "That's what we need to do. That's what definitely what we need to click." Three star Rex, eh? Wow. Oh, wow. Go, Kale, baby, go. Oh, wait, he doesn't have a third item. No wonder we're losing this. Where's his third item? What just happened? Wow, that's convenient. Who got the third item? J4 got the third item? What? No wonder we're losing. All right, we just have to slam this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's not great. It, it, we just have to slam it. We have five Slayer right now. That is pretty good. I'm about to get Zephyred. Which one of these people has Zephyr? Oh, this guy does. All right, hopefully we kill Phoenix. Hopefully he didn't Zephyr us. Okay. He's up for Aatrox? Uh, he's up for Kled. Weird. Alright, now that we have three items, theoretically, this should be a lot easier. Alright, yeah. J4 having that, that item actually is kind of troll. I didn't realize it. But, like, why would it not give our three-star level nine Kel the item? <laughs> Did we beat this guy, too? Nice, nice, nice. Can we take out anything? Probably not. So now we just need to try to hit Gwen G4. I don't think it's worth holding gold. There's Gwen. So if we win this, we buy the Gwen. Then we hope for one more Gwen. Let's see. What is he going to do? Boom, 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 boom. I wish I could have put Kled. Eh. It's fine. Buffing Gwen is fine. By Yasuo! Okay. Oh, wait, she got stunned. <gasps> she got stunned! Oh, it was so close! She got stunned! Oh, there's a Gwen. It's a magic resist. Damn, I really, now I wish I wouldn't have slammed. Actually, hmm. Warmogs? Probably Warmogs and five gold. Instead of 
Gwen with half an item. Nice. Wait, is it? This is probably better on Gwen, right? I actually like it better on Gwen. I think it makes way more sense that way. The music is just, mm, just hits, you know? It just hits. Alright. Should be in a great position now, especially with our secondary carry being level 2 with the Wormogs. I feel like we're just in a better position because of it. And we hit 9. How often do you hit 9 on Kel reroll? But we kind of got... Honestly, I think Stars Are Born is just OP. It just feels really good. Now, I know we used it on Poppy and a unit that's not even in Galio, but like the 6 extra gold you get on top of the 5 gold from the 2 cost and the 3 gold from the 1 cost... I mean, that's like 15 gold, level 1 from a gold augment. That's pretty good. I really think it's extremely solid. I should have rolled here, because interest really doesn't matter. One of us is dead in the next two turns. I'm surprised we made the Elder Dragon. I like the Jar Jarvan's positioning here, just because basically he's always doing this line, which can be avoided, because I'm not moving it, right? But the thing about it is it protects Kale, because I can't just line up all their units right in front of Kale. So it's just very solid in that position, even though it looks a little bit sus. Oh, this is going to be better, right? Actually, we lose Strategist, though. Oh, he forfeited. <laughs> he forfeited. <laughs> GG. Oh, he disconnected before I could type it. Damn. Easy first place. Dude, Kel reroll actually seems pretty forcible. Pretty good. I mean, that's Diamond 3, 38 more LP. We're working our way to Diamond 2 at this point. Like, that seems pretty good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. The subscriptions actually really helped me. I really do appreciate those a lot. Um, you know, every basically 1,000 views is $3 around there in advertisement revenue. Uh, so my goal is to kind of make enough advertisement revenue to buy my lunch uh you know two to three times a week that's kind of like the goal so you know i'm aiming for and yeah, my lunch is usually like 12 bucks so i usually try to get like you know whatever wait well, yeah, i can't do math all right let's say 30 bucks for math six because your boy's not good at math he's an attorney not a math mathematician he is uh it's so that would be what is that 10,000 views? 10,000 views pretty much buys my lunch for three days out of the week, half the week. Wow. That's pretty cool. Anyways, sorry for wasting you guys' time with that. I was just trying to do the math in my head, and I really appreciate you guys. So thank you as always, and have a good one.